Welcome back to more Summoner's War, everyone. Today's video is going to be a rather special one. I mean, I say that about pretty much every single video, but this one is going to be Giants Keep Farming. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because in the past month or so, people have requested for me to actually start doing some other videos of, like, farming or just general tips in order to get better at this game. Now, I will tell you right now, I can actually auto Giants Keep B8. Um... B10, I cannot do it, simply because at this point I haven't done- Oh yeah, by the way, it's a post commentary, because there's going to be a lot of cuts later on. But, yeah, um, I can't do B10 simply because B B9 is fire elemental and it's blocking me. Without using Shannard, because you can't use Shannard in B9, it's freaking impossible. And I don't have any good monsters to do it, so what I'm going to have to do is actually crystal my way into B10 by completing B9 with crystals and then doing B10. Because I'm actually very close to being able to um, be able to do a B10. Maybe not auto it, but at least manual it for now. So let me go ahead and talk about uh, what you have to do here. Because like I said, close commentary, I'm just autoing here. And here's my team. Now, you should try to have all members at level 40, which means 6 star level 40. Because it makes it that much easier. If you have some 5 star level 35, it's kind of fine. But you need at least a few 6 stars. At least a few. Now, the two that you always want to use would be Shannon, the Wind Pixie, and Bernard, the Wind Griffin. You need both of those. Because they are, I mean, people, some people argue that they probably are replaceable, but most people actually say they are not replaceable. They are not. They are simply too amazing. And there are no other monsters that can fit their same role. You need them for Giant's Keep. So that's them two. Now, I'm not going to get into the big details about them because they're pretty obvious monsters. I mean, everybody has a Wind Pixie. Most people have a Bernard too, at least, you know, 5-star. But I, mine is a 6-star six, six because I use them a lot. I combine Shannard a lot. Now, to actually succeed in Giants KP8, here's what you need. Like I said, you need Shannard. You need a healer. And by healer, I mean a good healer. Somebody who can heal a lot, as in Belladion or Amin, or there's other ones, you know, if you have Ariel, although Ariel I mean, would be water, it's his wind, but whatever. He's a good enough tank with HP, he could probably outlast it, but, but the point is you need a good healer, not, not those garbage ones that heal like a bit. Okay, for example, Arena, Chloe, although Chloe has uses with Fnatic, so that's a different story. But if you were using Chloe solely as a healer, that wouldn't work. Yes, Chloe is amazing with Fnatic, but no, not a healer. Uh, Rina, not a healer technically. It's a very weak heal compared to Amin. So you do need that. You need very, very good. Now, by the way, here's the drops. Unknown oh, scrolls. Oh, jeez. I'll talk about the drops in a bit once I talk about the team. But that's what you need a healer. So I have Amin as a healer who has a 100% critical rate. So, I mean, I don't think in this video he had it. He had like 80 something. But as of now, when I'm doing post commentary, he has 100%. So that's good. So that's three. Shannon, Bernard, Healer, which is basically, like I said, Amen, Belladion, whatever else. You also need a high damage dealer. Now, for me, I technically have two right here at the moment, Verdi Heil and Raok. But, um, yeah, you, you would, I would say you need at least one damage dealer because, um, solely relying on DOTs, I mean, that could work, continuous damage. But at the same time, sometimes, sometimes you want more, um, damage in addition to DOT. But I'll talk about that in a bit. What you also need, and what I don't have, is somebody who is able to um, remove enemy debuffs, also known as, I guess people call it seizing, because that's, you know, Bale of is aiming for that, or cleansing. But um, you need a monster that can do that. I don't. I don't right now, but I am working on one. I mean, as of, as of the point of this post-commentary, I have Celia who is an extremely underrated monster when it comes to Carol's Dungeon. I mean extremely underrated. Obviously not as good as, you know, like if you use Belladion, because Belladion is a mix of a great healer and a Caesar, but Celia is a great debuffer with um, Seizing. And again, I'll be talking about that shortly. More about that, but... I'm gonna have Celia soon, so let's just say that. Amin, Shannon, Bernard, Celia. Now, the only thing I need now is somebody who can remove the buffs on your team. That is where Veramos comes in, and as of now, I am working on using Veramos. It's gonna take about another, I would say, week and a half at the minimum. 
but we'll see. But that is of course for our Giant Speed 10 mostly, although that strategy also works for Giant Speed 8, but for B8, because the attacks are a little bit weaker than B10, you can get away with it if you actually bring in some more um, fire monsters, like for me I have Verdi Isle and Rogue. Verdi Isle is also amazing in the dungeon, but the problem is that you cannot use them in Giant Speed 10 because B10 is a water elemental dungeon. B8 however, if you have Verdi Isle, he's a must. Combine Verdi Isle with Bernard and decelerate from Shannon and you have an amazing speed again versus the enemy. That's crazy. It really is. Now, here's my second drop, and I got a 5-star to spare 3 S. Pretty good. I mean, if I get a purple rune that's 5-star, that's a proper slot. Like, you know, that's not like attack plus and, you know, slot 1 or whatever. I mean, slot 2, sorry. Then I will keep it. I really do keep it. Now, in here, I'm actually doing a times 2 speed. I decided to just, you know, go ahead and speed it up a bit. At the end of the video, I'm going to be showing a montage of drops because I farm giants for about an hour total. I kid you not. And I want to show you all the various drops. So far, I have the um, Unknown Scrolls that you saw and that pretty good Despair Rune for slot 3. Pretty good. And... Yeah, I mean, the drops are pretty good, although Unknown Scrolls are such, such BS. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. You waste 3 minutes of your life. You know, doing Giant's QB8, although as of now, again, post-commentary status, I can do it even faster because my runes are better now. But, at this point, I was doing about 3 minutes of Giant's QB8, which is not good, but it's not terrible. There are some people who take like 5 minutes to do it. 3 minutes is about a little bit under, eh, I don't know, decent. There are people who can do it, you know, in around a minute or so. Obviously having the best monsters, DOT, whatever, and yeah, okay. But, yeah, that's your team. Let's do a quick recap. Shannon and Bernard are irreplaceable. They work for Giants Cave B8 and B10. The, not B9, but who the hell farms B9? People either do B8, or if you can do B10, then do B10. Because B, B9 is pretty hard to farm, because Shannard is amazing for the Giants Cave, and you can't use him in B9. But, anyway, oh, another drop here, and... Not bad. Accuracy percentage on slot 6, Swift Rune. That works pretty well for like, um, who would, oh, Bernard, Bernard would take advantage of that, you know, he needs accuracy in slot 6 and he swift rune, yeah, but, what was I talking about now, oh yeah, your team, like I said, Shannard, healer, I have Amon, and then for the final two, you need a monster that can remove the buffs on the enemy and you need a monster that can remove the debuffs on your team, that is where Veramos and Belodion come in, now, the thing about Belodion is that it has a multi... how should I say it? Um, okay, for example, Amon is a healer. Only a healer, pretty much. He can provoke the weak enemies, but against the boss, his provoke is useless. So, he's only a healer, for, for the most part. If you have Belodion, Belodion fits a double role. Belodion is a healer, 30% the entire team, and a Caesar. Which means that if you can do both, you are free with another slot. Most people like to use Shannard. Belodion to fit in both roles of healing and seizing, Veramos to get rid of your um, um, team debuffs, and then using Sigmaris to have a massive 44% HP buff, 11 more percent than Veramos's 33% HP universal boost. So that's the classic team there Sigmaris, Veramos, Belodion, Shannar. Now, um, if you don't have Belodion like me, but if you have Amon, you can use Amon and try to use Veramos, and then that would be your entire team. Shannard, Amon, Veramos, and either Cilia or whatever, I don't know. Okay, here's a montage now. The video's pretty much over. I'm just going to go ahead and talk about what I got here. Rainbow Mon 2 Star. Like I said, I'm just, I'm just cutting all this. Every single one of these was about a three minute trip, so I try to imagine how long it took me. You got a, a two star Rainbow Mon. Sometimes you get in the slum and you can't get a single good rune, which is a problem, but um, yes, yeah, so, okay, that, that's a four star. From this point on, I sell all four star runes. I don't want four stars anymore. It's, nope, 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 not gonna work anymore for me. They are too, too behind in the game. Okay, there's another despair three. I mean, that's the same thing that I just got like a little bit ago, but oh well. Next one is a summoning stone times three. Okay, and then the next one, giants keep B8. Drop is 
the spare four gaps garbage, it's attack plus for a slot four. That's a useless room. It's not gonna work. Even if it has good substats, it's not good because the main stat is terrible. The next one is, um... Unknown Scrolls, oh jeez, are you kidding? <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's so bad when you get Unknown Scrolls, it's a, it's a terrible feeling. Blade 3, not bad, with critical rate. If the critical rate gets boosted enough, you can actually take advantage of that and give it to, like, Brody Heil. Raymon 3 star, that's pretty good. Swift 5 HP with critical rate, attack plus defense, pretty decent rune. Not amazing, but, uh, plus it's blue, not purple, you know. Next one, another 3 star Rainbow Mon, pretty good. 3 star Rainbow Mons are a good deal here in Giants QB8. Ugh, oh, that's garbage, on scroll. I keep moving my microphone, man. Sorry about that. Next one is Despair 6 garbage. Garbage, 4 star rune plus defense plus, nope, nope, nope. That's not gonna work. And then the next one, Accuracy 6 for energy, that, I mean, yeah, hmm. That's a pretty good rune. And the last thing is a Snope Garbage. Alright. So that was all the trips that I did of Giants Keep. It took about almost an hour to do all of that combined, you know. But of course I sped up some trips. And then I eventually cut out three minutes each of every run. But sometimes it's pretty fun just farming, you know, and trying to get some good stuff. Although, like I said, probably in about two weeks or so I can start um, maybe autoing B10. It depends if I get lucky with the monsters that I need for Veramos. But I'm close. I can do it. All these monsters have, you know, a minimum 5 star runes plus 12, so I'm doing well. And that is pretty much it for this video, so thank you for watching, goodbye everybody, and as always, until next time.